let's go read a book today. Hello, hello, my little friends. Thank you so much for joining me here on this episode of Let's Go Read a Book Today, where I, Miss Pamela, share some wonderful stories with you right here in my little reading garden. And oh, do I have a beautiful one for you today. But first, I have to ask, do you know what time it is? It's time for Word of the Day! Hey there, my little brilliant people! I miss vocab, that's short for Miss Vocabulary. And I have the Word of the Day for you. Yes, our Word of the Day, where we learn a new word that helps to grow our vocabulary and our minds. <laughs> so, our Word of the Day is Optimistic. What does that mean, you ask? Well, I'll tell you what it means. Optimistic means feeling or showing hope that good things will happen in the future. Optimistic. Hey, why don't you try and use this word optimistic in a sentence this week when you're talking to your friends or your siblings or even your buddy? <laughs> because the more you use it, You'll never lose it. I'll see you next time on The Word of the Day. Now, let's get to some reading. Thank you, Miss Vocab. <laughs> now, you are going to thank me for introducing you to these two new friends. They are two of the best kind of friends that you want to have in your life. And I'm so excited for you to meet them in our story today titled, It's In You, A Book for Big Dreamers, written by Sharifa Anazi and illustrated by Claudio Espinoza. Well, are you ready to read? <laughs> I am. So sit back and open your minds because here comes story time. Hey, you. Yes, you. I wonder what you'll be. I wonder how big you'll grow and if you'll be bigger than me. What will happen when you hatch? Where will you go and who will you see? My name is Ella and you can always count on me. It took four days for the little egg to hatch. Turns out it was a caterpillar. Ella named him Patch. He was two inches long with bright stripes of black, white, and yellow. He seemed very hungry, but yet very mellow. He jumped and jumped on his milkweed all day long. Ella even heard him singing a caterpillar song. Hey, Patch. What do you want to be when you grow up? One day, I'm going to fly high, so high I'll touch the sky. A frog overheard the caterpillar's dream. He was skeptical and didn't believe. You don't have wings or even a plane. A caterpillar trying to fly? <laughs> Well, that's insane. Ella started thinking, how could she help his dream come true? What about these feathers? I could stick them on you. A bee overheard the caterpillar's dream. She was skeptical and didn't believe. You don't have wings or even a plane. A caterpillar trying to fly? Ho oh, ho, well that's insane. Or what about a cape? Could that help you fly? But none of it was working and Patch started to cry. 
A squirrel overheard the caterpillar's dream. He was skeptical and didn't believe. Oh, you don't have wings or even a plane. A caterpillar trying to fly? <laughs> well, that's insane. <laughs> but Ella and Patch kept on thinking. They didn't want to give up. Oh, I've got it. What about a cloud or a really big balloon? But none of it was working. Then Patch spun into his cocoon. A rabbit overheard the caterpillar's dream. She was skeptical and didn't believe. You don't have wings or even a plane. A caterpillar tried to fly? Ha <laughs> ha! Well, that's insane! Ella didn't see Patch for ten long days. Hey, little caterpillar, don't you want to come out and play? But Patch didn't answer. So Ella went away. Inside his cocoon, Patch closed his eyes and made a wish. I wish I had wings. I wish I had a plane. I wish that I could fly high in the sky one day. In the morning, when Patch opened his eyes, he felt a little funny deep down in his tummy. He busted out of his casing and much to his surprise, he emerged the most beautiful butterfly. Patch, is that you? Ella couldn't believe her eyes. Everything they had worked for was finally realized. Patch, you do have wings. Your dream has come true. Turns out all that you needed was always inside of you. Yay! Patch became a beautiful butterfly. You see, both Ella and Patch remained optimistic about Patch's future because they always felt that there was something more deep inside Little Patch and that he could fly. He just needed to find his wings. And it turned out everything that Patch needed was already inside of him, waiting to come out and be a beautiful butterfly. I hope you know that all of those dreams that you have for yourself do not have to remain just dreams. You must remain optimistic about your dreams, feeling good about your future, and know that if you keep working hard and believing in yourself, even when others tell you that you cannot do it, your dreams will come true because everything you need to make your dreams come true is already inside you. Just like little Patch. <laughs> I hope you never forget that. Oh, and one other thing that we never want to forget are the incredible creators of this fantastic book. The author for the wonderful words that become the story that help to grow our mind and the illustrator for all of the amazing pictures throughout the book that delight our eyes. So Sharifa Anazi and Claudio Espinoza, we just have one thing to say to you. Thank you, thank you for writing this book and opening a whole new world. Well, it seems that's all the time we have for reading together today. Oh, but don't you worry, because I'll join you here again. Yep, right here in my little reading garden on our next episode of Let's Go Read a Book Today. And I so look forward to seeing you again. So, 
Until the next time we meet, don't forget, keep reading. Bye. I'm just happy you've joined me to read today. Oh, yeah. I'm just happy you've joined me to read today.